Hello, thank you for tuning in. My name is Caleb, and today I'm here to talk to you about something very important. Now, I want to make this as quick as possible because um, I keep I keep re-recording because I keep screwing up the video, and also I keep making it too long. So I want to I'm going to be speaking fast, and um, you might need to rewind to to hear some stuff again, and that's fine. Uh, do that if you need to. Um, what I want to talk about are drugs called benzodiazepines. Now, um, that may sound scientific, that word benzodiazepine, but I'm going to describe, I'm going to explain to you what it is. Um, a benzodiazepine is a class of drugs, so it's like a category of drugs that are prescribed for anxiety, um, they're prescribed for seizures, sleep problems, um, muscle problems, so it's a it's an anxiety reliever, It's it prevents seizures, it helps relax your muscles, and it helps you sleep. Um, there are many benzodiazepines, um, to name a few, clonazepam, lorazepam, diazepam, which is, those are the generic names, the, the brand names of them are clonapin, ativan, and valium. Um, and there's many more, like temazepam, and pretty much all of them end with, uh, end with, um, PAM. So any drug that you see that ends with PAM, there's a very high chance that it's a benzodiazepine. Now, to the point. I was prescribed a benzodiazepine drug called clonazepam about more than two years ago. And the reason why I was prescribed it personally now, I didn't have seizures, I didn't have problems sleeping, well, yeah, I did, I had problems sleeping. Uh, I didn't have muscle problems. I did, however, have very bad anxiety, and I still do. Um, so the psychiatrist prescribed me this, this little drug, and it looks so innocent. Look at it, it looks so innocent. See it? It's just so small. She prescribed me 0.5 milligrams, so half a milligram. And let me tell you, it felt so fucking good. The first time I took it, it relieved my anxiety. I was finally able to chill when I could not before. Like, this thing took so much weight off my shoulders. I felt relaxed. It's like, um, it's like a beer in a pill. Or it's like alcohol in a pill chills you out so much and um the side effects are very little you don't get all like out of it you can still think clearly um you're still yourself you're just very very relaxed very relaxed like oh you know um so yeah it was it was great the first time i took it and um i took this drug for weeks and weeks and weeks and then months and months and months and all of a sudden that great relaxation feeling I was getting from taking one pill started to go away and I was like hmm well I guess my my level of anxiety is just going up my anxiety is just getting stronger so maybe I just need to take more and I started taking two of those half milligram pills which equals a total of one milligram um, I was on one milligram for a while and it worked great for a while, just like the point five worked great for a while at first. And then um, more months go by. You know, eventually it's been a year, and um, it doubles again. I'm taking like four point five milligram pills, so a total of two milligrams. Uh, months go by again. It seems to double again. I'm taking eight. One half milligram pills, all for the same reason. Each time it went up, it was because the amount I was taking stopped working. Just like you know, the first point five stopped working. I kept needing more and more to get, and and I wasn't doing this to get high. I wasn't doing this to to have fun. I wasn't raising the amount to have fun or to get high or to get you know whatever the fuck. I wasn't, I'm not a drug abuser. I was taking it for a, a medical reason to, to relieve my anxiety. Because um, I needed it to cope with my anxiety. 
Um, the thing is, um, two years into taking this medication, I started reading up on it more, and I find out some interesting things. Yeah, you can find out some great things from the internet that people won't tell you in person. Your psychiatrist wouldn't tell you this, most likely, and your doctor most likely wouldn't tell you this. They'll tell you the side effects of taking a benzodiazepine drug, but they won't. What they won't tell you is what can happen if you stop. Now, since most doctors and most psychiatrists won't tell you this, I'm going to tell you. I'll inform you. Give me one second. Alright, okay, here we go. After you've been taking this drug for, I don't know, let's say six months, or maybe even two. Actually, in fact, if you've been taking it longer than two weeks, you are at risk. The longer you take it, the higher the risk. Let's say you take it for six months. Oh, you're definitely probably addicted by then. Yep. See, what happens is the drug, um, our bodies get too used to the drug and, um, or to the dose that we're taking of the drug, and it starts needing more. It starts developing what's called a tolerance. Um, so basically, your body's saying, um, you know, this isn't enough, I'm getting... Your, your, your body becomes, uh, like, um, immune to it, immune to the drug's effect. It's like if you were to keep drinking a poison that doesn't kill you um, over and over again for months, eventually your body would develop an immunity to it. Did you know that? Yeah. And that's literally what you're doing when you're taking benzodiazepines. You're taking a poison sorry but it's true even though it relaxes you it is a poison now anyways back to the point the thing that can happen to you if you stop taking these drugs cold turkey or if you even reduce the dosage too fast let's say you don't do it cold turkey you just you reduce a huge chunk of the dose that you're taking you can have seizures that can kill you seizures that can result in death you can have a coma you can go psychotic literally all these things can happen and even if it doesn't get to that point if it doesn't get the, to that severity if it doesn't get to the fatal point you're still gonna have a bitch of a time trying to get off the drug you're going to be very, very uncomfortable. I tell you this because I am in the process of getting on clonazepam. This beautiful thing. Well, what was beautiful became a fucking monster. She's a monster. Beautiful monster. Yeah, that's what this is. That's what benzodiazepines are. Because they will work great for you, and then they will turn fucking evil on you. Now, I got up to 4 milligrams. I reduced by just 1. Just 1 milligram. About a month ago. The withdrawal effects are very, very intense. And that's just one fucking milligram. And it's been a month, and it has not gone away. And I think that it's possible that this withdrawal effects will keep going on for maybe a couple more months. And I only took one milligram off. Even after I'm finished with this one milligram taper, this one milligram reduction, I'm going to have to do three more. Yep. 
But let me tell you the discomfort I'm dealing with. When I lay down and I start falling asleep, I start getting this weird sensation in my head. And my head starts, my forehead starts twitching and my eyes start twitching like this. I'll, get, I'll show you what it looks like. I get these weird facial facial twitches. It only happens when, I'm, when I start falling asleep. And then like, it's weird. It's like I'm, I'm jerked out of my sleep. Like I'm like, like that. And I can't fall asleep. Well, I can, but it's very difficult. And when I'm having these sensations, I feel like I'm going to have a seizure. Or, or I perceive it as, as me about to have a seizure because it feels like my eyes are starting to roll back in my head. These drugs are very, very bad. I also get very bad headaches throughout the day. Very bad headaches. Oh my gosh. I get very anxious, I get very tense, my heart starts racing, my lungs, I start breathing fast. That's because my body is so used to, what benzodiazepines do basically is, are, are, they slow down your central nervous system, that's what they do. So now that my, my body is used to having um, the drug and uh, my central nervous system being, being you know, relaxed. It's, uh, I suddenly took away one milligram, and so now, you know how I said the body makes, um, changes to, to counter the, the effects, or your brain makes changes to counter the effects of the drug? Well, guess what? Um, one less milligram of the drug is there, but the effects that, are the changes that my body, that my brain made are still there. So even though one milligram of the drug is gone, the cha some of the, the change that my brain made is still there. And so that's why I'm feeling these withdrawal symptoms. So I gotta wait for my brain to um, get itself back together to, to um, balance itself. And I don't know how long that will take. get more more scientifically in depth with this but I think I should just get to the point um, maybe I'll make another video later on like explaining this more in depth but I'll have to you know prepare it I'll have to write a bunch of stuff because um you know when I'm doing this uh, with improvising it's hard to, to say everything that there is to say because there's a lot to say about these drugs um, the point of this video is, if you are offered benzodiazepines by your doctor or by your psychiatrist, whoever, by anyone who can prescribe medicine, whether you have seizures, whether you have problems sleeping, whether you have a muscle problem, whether you have anxiety, do not. I repeat, do not take clonazepam or any benzodiazepine drug unless you absolutely must. And if you do, if you do, don't take it any longer than two weeks. That's it. Once two weeks is over, I don't care how much it's helping. Get rid of it because this drug is more addicting than heroin and it will put you in a mess that will be very hard to get out of. Getting off of it will, will drive you nuts. You'll feel like you're going nuts. So I'm just warning you. Again, some of the, some of the benzodiazepines are lorazepam, clonazepam, diazepam, um, pretty much any drug ending with the name Pam. Don't take any of them. And if you suspect that your doctor 